Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Pastor Robert with Tuesday Mentality. Today we're going to be talking about being confident in who we serve. And today's scripture is coming out of the book of Psalms, uh, the 27th chapter, verses 1 through 3. And it says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. So out of this passage of scripture, it's saying that no matter what happens in life, whether it's trials, tribulations, ups, downs, bills, health, sickness, whatever it is, the Lord is my life and my salvation. In whom shall I fear? I don't fear anything when I know that God is with me. He walks with me. He talks with me. And he tells me that I am his own. So no matter what dart the enemy throw at you, you have to know within your heart and in your mind and in your subconscious that God is for you no matter what. He said that I, he knows the thoughts that he thinks towards you. Thoughts of peace, thoughts of happiness. So anything that the enemy tells you that does not line up with the word is not true. And you have to stand on God's word in the midst of uh, turmoil, in the midst of happiness, because sometimes we get uh, 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 um uh, we get complacent or we just get relaxed even in happy times. But even in the happy times, I stand on God's word. The blessings of the Lord maketh rich, but I still stand on God's word because he said that and it adds no sorrow. So anytime sorrow or, or adversity is going to come at you, tribulation is going to come at you for the word's sake. So you have to be confident in who you serve over in, uh, the book of Timothy, 2 Timothy, uh, the first chapter, verse 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. So it's telling us, the word is telling us that God has not given us a spirit of fear. So as believers in Christ, we do not walk in fear. Amen. We do not walk in fear. Tell yourself this every day, for I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. I'm Pastor Robert. As your day gets started and your week keeps going, remember, be confident in who you serve. God bless. Have a great week.